really do come through, guys. So I don't know if any of you guys know, but I, uh, I personally live in California, so going to Comic-Con is very easy for me. Um, but come a month from now, I'm actually moving to Houston, Texas to start a new job, start a new family, very exciting things. So this might be my last Comic-Con for a long time, so I really wanted it to be a good one. Well, I got into the Marvel panel, and I was able to see trailers for Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, and Avengers Infinity War. And holy cow, is it amazing! So, uh, first thoughts on Thor Ragnarok. So, Chris Hemsworth even said that. He was even bored with playing, getting bored playing uh, the kind of version of the character that he was playing. And I think he just wanted to have a little more fun, like some of the, uh, the sort of sketches that we've seen of him in an office building with a roommate. And that tone really continues in the clips that we saw. We saw the clip of Thor actually arriving on the planet where he's ultimately forced to be a gladiator. And he's initially kind of strapped into his chair and sent through kind of this virtual reality sort of introduction course to what this planet's about. It's about essentially all the outcasts of the universe as they say kind of end up there and find new purpose and that's why Thor is there. And it felt almost in a way meta as far as him not being in Civil War and kind of being this outcast so to speak and now you know, it's his time to find a new purpose and a new drive. So, loud whistles there. Um, and so that was really fun. And then also we saw this moment where he's actually kind of put in prison and interacts with this kind of rock giant alien who actually, it turns out, was played by Taika Waititi himself, who's also the director. Um, and it was really funny on the panel, Taika was talking about how he kind of actually based this character kind of on Polynesian bouncers who were very physically big and kind of domineering and intimidating. So they've got these very small, sort of slight voices and, hello, can I see your identification, please? And that really came through in a very funny, funny way. And then also, from there we got some more footage of Thor battling Hela. And a lot of the kind of tone and sort of large epic looks that we got in the first and second Thor are really kind of continued through her. A lot of really slow motion epic shots of her doing battle with Thor and Loki. Loki shows up there as well. And then we got the Black Panther panel and my goodness, I really, really enjoyed this panel. Enjoyed every single person on that panel from Ryan Cooler, every single cast member. There was such passion and pride that this project was being made and that really came through in the footage. A really excellent, excellent fight scene that kind of takes place in this nightclub where um, the character played by Martin Freeman is essentially kind of trying to set up the uh, Andy Serkis character and kind of oper and operate a sting sort of. Things go south and the fight scene ensues and then it launches into the trailer with all that fun attitude and cool hip-hop music and again the, the, the film just really seems like it's going to be an excellent one. And then, of course, you know, they always, as they always do, they pulled a fast one on us. They said, oh, we're all done. The only two films we're going to talk about are those two. And then, of course, Chris Hemsworth came back on. Chadwick Boseman came back on. Mark Ruffalo came back on. They said, no, 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 no. We got some more stuff to show. And they played us the Infinity trailer. And where to start? I mean, okay, well, the trailer itself started with kind of a montage of pretty much all the past Marvel properties. And as you can imagine, it was already exciting just seeing all these different films that we've enjoyed coming together, knowing that it's leading a specific destination, knowing that it's leading to this conflict against Thanos, and then, bam, we jumped straight into the new footage. And if you guys have read trailer descriptions for the trailer that was shown at D23, this was the exact same trailer as that. Um, but just some of the standout moments for me, Obviously, the first moment in the trailer is the Guardians of the Galaxy flying around through some crazy-looking colorful nebula, very similar to something we might see in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, Volume 2, and then splat! Thor hits the windshield, and they're all like, Ah, oh, what's going on? Get him off! Pull him inside, and he looks up and fittingly says, Who are you guys? And from there, we just get this feeling of, Yep, this is the film when everything comes together, and... Just one moment after another just really paid off. I mean, there was moments of Spider-Man in his brand new outfit, swinging around, the one that we saw at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming. We saw Iron Man in a brand new outfit, look almost skin tight. We, uh, we saw Captain America with an epic beard going on. It's difficult for me to fully sum up how amazing it is to see 
that trailer because it's one of those situations where yes, the images are epic, yes, the battles are big, but it really feels like this beautiful culmination and climax to everything we've seen building up to this point. And it's the thing that I always come back to why I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I know these characters, I feel like I know them quite intimately because I've spent so much time with them and seeing them in such peril and seeing them trying to work together and trying to overcome this seemingly unstoppable foe in Thanos who we saw for the first time really look cool looking. I mean we saw him in Guardians of the Galaxy and at the end of the Avengers obviously but helmet off, thrown down, taking out the Avengers left right and center and it looks intense, it looks amazing. What more can I say? All right, so we're here with uh, security guard. All right, all right. I'm okay. This I wasn't planning on talking to these guys, but for, for serious, everyone's been kept safe, right? No catastrophes have happened, and these are the guys right here. These are the guys that make it happen. So yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, listen, listen to these guys. Listen to these guys. Person on the mat. Yeah, person on the mat. All right. Okay. Okay. Derailment, obviously, but there is something glorious about the people here at Comic-Con and just how generous and loving and wonderful they are. And with that, that is the end of my Comic-Con 2017 experience, and what a way to end it. I mean, so, so cool, so, so thankful. Thanks for joining with me, guys, and until next time, cheers.